taking their boards to water for the 17th time. Carlos and Carolyn, along with coach Bailey, want to change people's perspectives on waste. Today, Woolwich to Gravesend, the final leg of their mammoth paddleboard journey. The start is absolutely stunning. It's very leafy, it's very much the countryside. The plastic, that changes as well as we've, as we've come up uh, down the river. There's been a lot of plastic bottles and interestingly we've seen, we've seen the plastic move down the river. The challenge began in Lechlade nearly three weeks ago. They've paddled on average 15 kilometres a day, talking to school children about the problem of plastic waste along the way. They've already covered 274 kilometres from that direction. Today they'll cover 26 kilometres in that direction. It's the longest distance they've covered in one single day. And where the river gets wide, they've got quite a challenge on their hands. Carolyn hadn't even stepped foot on a paddleboard until two years ago. And on a board made just of bottles, beyond the Thames barrier conditions get particularly tricky. Well, when you get from this point cl close to the barrier, you can feel the smell of the river change completely. It's not so clean as you expect it, you know, and it's quite un unpleasant. Mm. And when the bo big boat pass by, it rocks everything and creates a big wash. The reactions from people along the way have been phenomenal. There is absolutely a change in ashes. So many people have asked us, what can they do? I'm excited to finish. <laughs> we're, um, we're probably quite tired now, especially after yesterday, because that was a very early start. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing the river become the sea. The 300 kilometre journey should be over in a couple of hours. They're planning a celebration in St Catherine Docks tomorrow evening. Victoria Hollins, BBC London News.